Hey guys, Grover here with another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. And today what we'll be looking at is creating our very own level with an actor. Okay. Well, maybe just the actor for today. Okay. Um, so, anyways, let's get run right in. And we're going to create a new project for this entire series. And we're going to obviously make it C++. So, new project, C++, basic code, because we're starting from complete scratch. And we're just going to call it tutorial. Okay, create project. It's going to create the project, it's going to compile in its own time, obviously. So it's going to generate all the code for it. It's going to compile the source code. And I feel like I should pause the video, but I know if I pause the video, it's going to just compile straight away. And I'm not looking like an absolute idiot. But, for the purpose of this, I'm just going to pause the video and do that once it's done. Okay, so it's done compiling. Visual Studio is loading up. The edit is loading up. And then it's loaded. Okay, as you can see, Visual Studio is going to sorry, yeah, Visual Studio is going to do its own thing and pass the files and solution while we look at our um, editor. Okay, so obviously this is the default um, level that we get spawned in. All right, so it's got a bunch of little stuff. All right, a little bit complex for all the scene objects. So what we're going to do is we're just going to get rid of this now. All right, so I'm just going to go and create a new folder. We'll call it Maps. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to go File, New Level, and hit Default. I'm going to save this le level into Maps. Let's call it Test. Okay. All I'm going to do is get rid of the Play Start, turn up the light source, and that's it. Okay. Also get rid of the atmospheric fog. Okay. So now we just have the basic level with a light source, and also the floor and the sky sphere. Uh, we're not going to cover the sky sphere at the moment because we don't really want to jump right into that. But anyway, so what we're here to do is create an actor with a static mesh, all right? And for that, since we're co covering this entire series with C++, we're going to need Visual Studio. So I'm hoping it hurries up doing what it's doing, but it's probably not. Okay, so what we're going to do is, first thing I want to explain what an actor is. An actor is basically something that goes into the scene, all right? Something physical we can see. Such as like a cube, that's an actor, alright? That's classed as an actor in our scene, alright? So you can see here it's a static mesh actor, alright? The floor is a static mesh, act mesh actor because we can see it, right? it's physical, we can we can interact with it, with physics, uh, collide with it, and all sorts of good stuff, alright? So, but obviously these are prefab actors, you know, like with a little uh, physics and stuff we can play, it's going to float in the air, but we can make it simulate physics with its little thing here. Obviously, that'll fall on the floor like that. Bounce. You can obviously rotate it so it will bounce on an angle a little bit weirdly. Like so. Run the ball onto the side, alright? But, okay, we don't want to use the default ones. We want to create our very own, alright? So we can have different features to it, alright? But for now, all we're going to do is we're going to create one that will literally just sit in the world. It's not going to do anything. It will probably do absolutely nothing. It will just have a mesh so we can see it. Okay. So, what we're going to do is we're going to come over to C++ classes, we go to Tutorial. The only thing that's in there at the moment is our game mode, alright? But what we're going to do is we're going to right-click, hit New C++ Class, alright? And you can see there's a bunch of stuff in here, alright? All we're going to select for now is Actor. See, it says an object that is pl placed or spawned in the world, okay? So, what we're going to do is go hit Next. We're going to name it Tut Actor. Like I used to do in my Minecraft modern tutorials. It's going to place this header file inside of the source. It's going to create, automatically create a header and a source file for us. So all we're going to do is create class. Ah, C++, sorry, Visual Studio is still doing its own thing, so we're going to have to wait for a moment. So I'll be back once Visual Studio is done doing what it's doing. So Visual Studio finished doing what it's doing, all I did was hit create class. It's going to compile the code and open it up for us, okay? So, that's it. So, what we're going to do now is, you know, your act is done, alright? All we're going to do is we're going to, we can either compile it in here by going to build, and then build solution. But what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the editor, and just hit compile. Okay. So here we have got our actor, we're going to place it in the world, and, oh, where is it? Okay. If you remember rightly, an actor is something that's physical in the world, and we can place it. So it's in there, we can't see it, but it's in there, so we can't even see its location, alright? But it is in there, it's an instance, alright? 
So what we need to do is we're going to delete that and we're going to give it something physical so we can actually see it inside the world. And the way we do this is we can either do it directly from the source file and hard code its model in, so its mesh in. But we don't want to do that. We want to be able to edit our mesh on the go in the little details panel on the right. So what we're going to do, oh, I need to do that. It's going to open up Visual Studio. We go to its header file and we're going to create a variable that we can edit in the engine. So I'm going to create something called a U property like that. It's a macro that we're able to access. And we're just going to type edit anywhere. Okay. And this U property edit anywhere is going to be U static. Sometimes it doesn't also compete like I like it would. I would like it to, but it doesn't. So we're going to create a U static mesh component. The class itself is just called static mesh component, but the way that uh, Unreal works is called U static mesh component by adding the U in front. And we need to add a little star to this because it's going to be a pointer. And we're just going to call it mesh. Okay, that's it. We can now go over to our tut actor class. And what we're going to do is we're going to create the mesh. So we're going to set mesh equal to create default sub object okay and this is going to be new static mesh component like so and we're just going to do text mesh okay we're going to set our root component okay that's like the center piece where we can attach stuff to we're going to set our root component equal to mesh all right because we want our mesh to be the centerpiece that we can move around in the world. Okay, so that's that. Okay, and that is all we need to do. All right, that is it. Okay, our mesh is done. So if we hit F7, or we can go back even back, we can just go back into the game and hit compile. So it's going to compile our C code. Hopefully, it didn't have an error or crash. I'm hoping. There we are. Compile complete. If we drag our tutaps into the world, it's there. All right, we can't see it yet because we haven't actually given it a, a mesh, sorry. So what we can do is we can go down here, hit mesh, and you can see there's a bunch of new stuff, all right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna change our static mesh to be something like, I don't know, I normally go with like a statue or something game. SM statue normally. I think it's in here. Yeah, yeah, SM statue, okay? And you can see it's right there, okay? Our actor is in the game, okay? We can move it around. We can uh, scale it, we can rotate it. So scale, rotate, and we can do pretty much whatever we want with it. It doesn't do anything, it doesn't have any physics, it doesn't actually have anything to do with anything in this game, all right? But nevertheless, our actor is in there. We hit play, the game's now compiled, it's running, and our actor is there, okay? So it is in the game, it works, however, it has no physics. Oh, actually, no, it's there, okay? And you can see, obviously, the material's been ported over from the static mesh is actually there. And that is it guys, you've created your own activity, you've placed it in the game, and that's pretty much it, okay, it's pretty cool, huh? Alright, thanks for watching, uh, uh, if you like the video, like it, if you don't like the video, dislike it, leave a comment down below of what you want to see next, or how you think I should improve the scene. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll catch you in the next one.